Hi, Micha. Greetings to Berlin. How are you? Greetings. Yeah, I'm fine. Greetings to Barcelona. Um, yes. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay, enough introduction. Today yes. we'll talk about the differences between slint and cute. Cute. Yes, we have to discuss first what it actually is because some people might not know it. Both frameworks user interfaces. Imagine if you have a touch screen and you want to develop an interface for that, then you could use either of these frameworks. So that's basically okay. what we're talking about. Maybe you are a product manager or a purchaser in a company, and then you have to decide what I want to use. So do I choose Qt or do I choose Xlint? Which is the best for my product, for my touch screen interface? I would suppose that both tools are okay. Both are okay, so they are usable. So it's not that one is crap and the other is best out there. So it's both usable, both are capable of designing or developing interfaces. Both have already use cases already. And then we can also already start with the differences because Qt is the major framework and also the more mature framework. Yeah. Basically, Qt is almost 30 years, it's around here. Yeah. So it started in Norway where some guys developed the plus plus cross-platform framework and they needed something to develop user interfaces. Norwegian trolls. Norwegian trolls, yes, troll tech. Then it was acquired by Nokia, then by DGA, and now it's a cute company, and now they've grown so big they are now the cute group. Wow. So they have some history. And also the framework also has its history. Some parts are still, even if they are 30 years old, they are still relevant in the code base. There was a paradigm shift in Qt that they started from a pure C++ framework. And in must be 2012, 2010, when they started to introduce a description language for the UI so that you don't have to code hardcore C++ code. So you have a descriptive language to code the UI that is called QML. That is basically that also programmers with not the most experienced programmers that that is supposed to be easier for them to create user interfaces. And that's why there is QML. And QML is the mainly used UI paradigm to develop UI user interfaces with Qt. So okay. QML, Qt. And then we have Slint that's on the other side. And Slint, they have also a history, of course. It's also Qt related because some former Qt developers, they said, okay, Qt is too big and we have to basically do a clean slate and we basically have to rewrite the framework, which is... They wanted to start a new project and not to take all the legacy. Yes. Yeah. And to build it from scratch and in that way to create something new, stable and fancy. Exactly. So basically it's always in software, you know, when you have, instead of maintaining a system, it's often easier just to start from scratch and basically drop all the legacy stuff. It's often easier. And this is what the guys did with Slint. One major difference is Slint is not written with C++. It's written with Rust, which is also kind of a new language. It's also 10 years old now, but it's becoming also more and more mature and heavily used also from the big players from the tech industry. So it's gathering quite a momentum, this language. But also Slint has C++ bindings. There's also other language bindings for Slint. With the C++ backend, you can also develop Slint user interfaces. And that's why actually I didn't mention that, that Slint, like QML from Qt, is also using a descriptive language. So also the language is called Slint to develop the user interfaces that is then compiled to Rust code in the end or any other kind of source code. That's Slint in summary. And talking about advantages and disadvantages. Advantage for Qt would be the framework is heavily used. There are lots of people using it. You have lots of support. You can book trainings. There's lots of material out there in the internet. From Slint, they have like Qt documentation is also awesome, but also the Slint documentation is also good. It's could be a bit better. There's still parts missing. And so you won't have that many questions on Stack Overflow, for instance, for Slint, because there's the user base is not that large. But yeah. on the other hand, if you have a problem with Slint, you can ask a question on GitHub and you get an answer immediately. So if you really want to use it, so you will also get support for sure. 
So advantage for Qt, because it's mature, it's more used and also you will find more material. Advantage for Slint is paired to QML and also to Qt in general, it's very streamlined. I was fiddling around with it last week a bit, and I was totally surprised how small the binaries are that when you compile the UI. Now it's like old 90s shareware times when you, where you have a two megabyte file and you just click on it. There's no dynamic libraries loaded. It's basically just this little file and then and you have UI. So that's quite awesome. And you can also easily compile to WebAssembly and stuff. So there's these streamlined and very slim approach that you get lots of advantages so you can move quicker so you don't have this whole weight like with Qt you have all this legacy stuff and this you don't have with Slint because it's super streamlined yeah okay to summarize the differences between Qt and Slint what can we present for today in summary Qt major mature framework Slint yeah. clean slate new framework if you want to say it depends a bit on the use case what you have what you want to choose if you have already have a c plus plus background and you are familiar with the Qt framework already then you can continue to use Qt. if you're eager to try something new and if you have especially want to target low-end hardware then i would prefer slint okay okay let's stop for today and we will continue with this topic because i think there's a lot more to tell and so we'll see you the next time. And uh, next week we will continue on this part. Or, well, uh, there are many things we have to talk further on. Yes. But, <laughs> Michelle, thank you very much for today and see you very soon. Bye bye. You. Bye bye.